All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video. Another request coming in. This one is from... Actually, two people requesting this one. It was BF Gaming a while back, and more recently, Pemby. Pemby's 4K Gaming World has asked for... Ricky Atten versus Amir Khan. Ricky! Ricky! No one outside of the UK will know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's it is Ricky's stats. 84. I think I might try and look for the body a little bit in this one. Go for that liver. Go for like a classic sort of Ricky Atten. I don't know, maybe body shot finish if I can get it. Where's Amir? 87 for Amir. There's his stats. Hope he's all had a... Had a nice Christmas, by the way. Um, hope you all had a good time with your families and that. If you spent it on your own, like I did. I hope you had a good one, whatever you managed to do. It's just another day to me. I don't buy into it all. I'm a miserable old cunt already. <laughs> Fuck Christmas. It's only good when you're a kid. So, yeah, it's just another, on just another day, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, where should we go? Should we go... Let's go C7 for this. Uh, in, uh, uh, in disputed, undisputed difficulty. Uh, damage on one at 1.5. Let's go. So much hype surrounding this fight. And now it is go time. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. There's only one Ricky Hatton, this all-time great welterweight, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. Amir Khan, he's Bolton's finest. Watch for those hands tonight. They are as fast as they come. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. And now it's time for the official introductions. And for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world, here is Ricky Hitman Hatton. Fighting out of the blue corner from Bolton, England, here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140 pound champion of the world, introducing Amir King Khan. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. I wonder if when, whenever the finished product here in tonight, of this game eventually comes rings, to us, only be two you know, like imagine if you're having a title fight, I wonder if we're going to get like different animations with like, you know, Entourage holding the belt in the corner or... Are we going to get like a champions sort of animation, depending on you know what corner you're in, and I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Are we just not the same animations? Are we going to get anything different like that when we see sort of things to do with titles? Look at Amir going for that fucking body. So I'll I'll try and get a body shot finished, but. I'll just take whatever comes. Oh, for a mere dodging that right up a cup cow. See a lull in the action. Here we go again. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight. The fans are on the edge of their seats. This is not just hype. We are in well, the is, He is fast in this game, like he did it. What an atmosphere! What a build! I feel like he's like one of the fastest in the game. I think. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
And he just misses with that jab. Like I, I know I've said a bunch of times, I don't really tend to pay attention to to picks in this game. It's just like like it's not vital, you know what I mean, to win. You know, I I don't know who's got what picks, but since that we're playing as Hatton. And is uh, the only pick that it looked like he had was uh, the liver destroyer pick. From this guy. He wants to bury his like I don't even know how to sort of make it count. Do I just attack away. the liver? Is that oh, it? Is that man, all to do? Does the game know which side of the body the liver is on? Like when you throw your body shots. Like if I, you know, throw right uppercuts and right hooks to the body, does the game count that as like? Oh, you're going to the body, so the liver destroyer trait kicks in, or does it actually got to be to the liver, which would be a mere, to a mere's right side? So I'd have to throw like left hooks or left uppercuts to the to the body. I don't know. But I'll, I'll go for the body more than I normally would. See if I can get a body shot finish. I mean, to be honest, the uppercuts to the body are still a little bit broken. So if I only choose to throw them punches. Like if I just said during this round now, I'm just going to go uppercuts to the body. His body will get hurt really, really quickly as long as I can land the punches. Like, because just for the longest time, the uppercuts to the body have kind of been a bit broken. I mean, let's just actually test that now. Actually, see if I can just focus me uh, most of my attacks on uppercuts to the body. I don't know. Maybe since the AI has been adjusted lately, though, all that's changed. I don't know. But previously, that's how it was. Will say no moss. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is oh, going to be a big counter left up there for the minute. So I stepped it. He caught him with a left hook. Gotta figure out a way to neutralize that link. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fighters can do that. Benelis, fucking relentless blocking. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice uppercut. The most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. They're both going for the KO. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Ricky Hatton. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. The bell rings and we start the third. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Great oh, right -hand fucking hell. There. Both exchanging left hooks there. I don't think mine connected, though. Oh, that was a hard right up a cut on Amir. Did fuck all. <laughs> I mean, Amir can't chin. Shouldn't be able to take a punch like that. Should have knocked him out of the fucking stadium. Oh, hard right straight to the body there. No point in using it though when you've got the uppercuts. Just regular uppercuts that can do the damage. I mean, that's a knockout combination right there. <laughs> Look at that. Nice shot with the left. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter to throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. 
When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. with that jam. Oh, look at that fucking brutality there. One body shot put me in stun. And then as I was in an animation from taking the body shot, I got it with the left hook. I couldn't even recover in time to block it. AI hitting way harder than the player. It's just like they've took the AI's damage slider and just like pushed it all the way up to the end and just left yours at default. Like I know I've bumped the overall damage up by one and a f by 1.5, but I feel like the devs have like just took the AI's damage output slider and just cranked it all the way up. And like I say, just left yours at default. That was one body shot there that put me in stun. Like, and I don't mind the fact that one body shot could stun you, but at least make the rules the same for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least, at least make it so if I hit him with a good body shot, I can stun him as well. Don't have it just to t it's all skewed in the AI's favour. Like, I know there's people watching this and be thinking, oh, the AI's in a fucking great place since the update. There's fucking no you don't know what you're talking about. Punch for punch. And the funny Their thing is, when people come at me with shit like that in the comments, 90% chance they don't even own the game and they've not played one second of it. So, so they don't even know how it feels or responds or it's just all what they think it, in their head what it should be like. But yeah, you can always tell. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. So just love pissing so people cold. off in the comments sometimes. Right people are just it's so easily fucking offended tonight. and upset tonight. when you say anything remotely negative. Oh, look at me, it's be. fucking taunting me, rocking me and then taunting me. Yeah, down. people burst into flames when you Beautiful say any, a, anything remotely negative about not only this game, but fucking anything really. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. I don't think I'm going to bother going for the body. I've already put enough, There's banked enough, uh, hey, those punches add up. enough damaging on the head, I think, to, to Warren's going after it, after his head a lot more. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Ricky Hatton. Let's not. Let's not talk about Ricky Hatton. And there's the bell for round five. Let's get straight back into no it. Doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That left counter punch will score, and we may see an early stoppage here. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. These two are the perfect dance partner. It's all offense all the time. They exchange punches. He misses with that jab. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Don't want to trade shots. They walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. Oh, big right up over the top there. Not that whiff. Very close round with 10 seconds to go.
let's talk about Ricky Hatton. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Let's start the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be... This is not how the story was supposed to go for Amir Khan. How are they still standing? They both want a knockout, you can tell. That left counter was perfectly timed. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Ooh, that's a hard body shot from Amir there. Surprised that didn't fucking knock me out. And he misses with the left uppercut. Jab not finding its target. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Good one. Punch, counter punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Catch and Ooh, shoot. Big shot over the top from Amir. Let's talk about it's only a matter of time before we get knocked down again. A round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Round seven, here we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Left punch. What a punch. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, Ooh, the best I way just realized that low head health there and I just fucking step back into range. To stand there, toe to toe with them and have a tell. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of a chance to make history. What's that, Amir? Taunting me after that last fucking stun. Fucking prick. With a fucking right straight to the body, you cunt. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. That counter Ooh. shot lands. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. So there it goes again, doing those like back step straight. Sort of punts it, punts it that out in another video. It's just like a pattern that the AI sort of falls into sometimes. And then it'll just stop doing it. And they're back at it again here in round eight. 
He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full barrel because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Nice counter shot. What's the referee thinking right now? Oh, another, another shot to the body. What's the matter to me, eh? Your fucking body a bit sore, mate. You've got a fucking glass fucking stomach as well. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Oh, just fired my upper cut a bit too early there. Not a lot of defense here at all. It's that for ever hope. Remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. Like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Back and forth they go. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Let's talk about Ricky Hatton. And there's the bell for round nine. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. Ooh, big shot very, landed on me there. Put me in immediate fucking danger. Fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. Ooh. A body shot for him here. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be oh, the do or die. That power low. might be the, the, the equalizer. That jab misses. We wanted action and they are delivering. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Do you believe what we are seeing? Oh, and a right straight to the body. And a left hook to the liver, just the at the end of the round. Oh, fucking hell, beautiful shot. Don't you like that, Amir? The fucking piss and blood yet. Finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. 
What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him Tell down. Him bully him Leon. Keep Tell him bully Leon. Tell him bully Because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a nuts here away from getting stopped. Oh, hard shot to deliver there from Amir. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no... Oh, hard right straight down the legs. middle. Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. Amir Khan backing up. Oh, and just oh, <laughs> right straight to the body. And a left hook up top. Oh, went for the liver, and then a shitty looking right straight down the pipe. There was stuff stood right up close to him, though, so that right straight wouldn't have got that full extension. Just kind of punches down. Oh, that's it. He's done. Too much, too much for the body of Amir. Look at him, all peaceful there. Have a little nap on the canvas. Showing off his sponsors on the soles of his shoes. The canvas kid, Amir Khan. Thanks very much for your request, lads. That's BF Gaming and Pembees 4K Gaming World. Thanks very much, lads. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.